This is the story of an addict who became a hero. His name is Bob Farster. Um, I did cocaine for about 22 years. Started uh, with marijuana. It progressed into destroying my life. I lost a leg. I've had two heart attacks, two strokes, all of it drug-induced. Bob finally got fed up, fed up with poor choices. On his ninth attempt at recovery, he vowed that if he could stay clean and sober, he would help others. And that is just what he did. And that is where the hero part comes in. Bob embarked on a journey dedicated to helping others stay free of drugs, especially kids. Why do you think it is that, you know, young adults such as yourself are using drugs and alcohol? Could you help with that? Along his journey to hero, Bob joined Matt Force. I first met Bob Farster at one of Matt Force's first town halls, which was here in Prescott. And right before we progressed to the actual work we were going to do, there was a voice in the audience saying, Counselor Polk, Counselor Polk. So I acknowledged the voice, and it was a man in a wheelchair who says in a very confrontational voice, Counselor Polk, I mean d no disrespect, but you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what addiction is. And so after the meeting, I went up to him and I said, sir, you're right, and what should I do about that? And Bob immediately said, you need to come to an AA meeting with me. So I did. Bob spoke in schools. He created video interviews with addicts. He spoke from his wheelchair and from his heart. He would tell audiences that while on a lengthy cocaine binge, he failed to take care of a sore on his foot, which led to gangrene and loss of his leg. We have to get the youth to a point that they understand there is no future in it. There is only pain, and the pain gets worse and worse and worse. Bob's approach to audiences, didn't matter what age they were, was always straightforward and blunt. There was no sugarcoating anything, and I made it very clear to kids that if they were pursuing that, that um, it was a dead-end road. He was one of those guys that came in and it was just straight up the truth from the word go, which is what teenagers want anyway. Heroes aren't perfect. Sometimes Bob made mistakes. Sometimes he misspoke. His words were hard-hitting. Some said his vivid description of life as a drug addict was too harsh for young ears. Bob would remove his prosthetic leg and throw it onto the school stage, saying this is what drug use will get you. Others thanked him for changing their lives. So one time I was driving Bob to a speaking presentation. He said, Gene, I have to tell you this story. I was in the grocery store the other day and this girl calls out to me, Bob, Bob. And he says, I couldn't even imagine what she wanted. And she came up to me and she said, you know, you recently spoke at my high school and I want you to know you changed my life. You saved me. I quit drinking and I got a job and I want to thank you. And he was just so proud of that. I think why Bob could connect with the kids so well was that he had lived through those types of experiences that a lot of the kids are going through, with substance abuse, you know, physical abuse. Because he lived it and he shared his story, they could relate to him. And our unsung hero, which we are surprising, it's Bob Farster. Um, Bob Farster has been an act. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He has been an active member of our Speakers Bureau since 2007, and amazingly, he has done over 458 presentations to over 10,000, mainly students in Yavapai County. And his impact has made an amazing, amazing um, difference in the lives of thousands of children in our county. So we're just so proud to um, award him today with the Unsung Hero Award. <laughs> Bob was a hero to many. Sadly, he lost his life too young. Bob was killed, struck, as he was crossing the street in his wheelchair. Bob's message continues. Today, he would challenge you by asking, if you are struggling with addiction, are you willing to be the hero of your own story? 
He would say, if I had the strength to overcome my alcohol and drug addiction, I believe you can too.